Hello, my dears. How are you? I'm very well. Thank you, Mr. Gad. I'm called Asmaki Haibu from Ethiopia. I'm doing my job here at our university as physics lecturer. I'm requesting from my kids, from my students, to solve this problem. Can we do together? Thank you. What the problem says, in hydraulic press, the smaller piston has a diameter of eight centimeters, while the larger piston has a diameter of 20 centimeters. If a force of 500 Newton is applied to the smaller piston, what is the force on the larger piston, it says? That's good. To do this problem, we have to remind what we have learned in our class about the Pascal Principle. What the Pascal Principle says? The Pascal Principle says, if in a confined system, if the change in the pressure, or if there is a creation of the pressure in one piston, this created or changed pressure can disseminate throughout diminished, can disseminate this through the entire fluid without diminished. That means P1 is equal to P2. Now look, solution. P1, the pressure created in one part of the piston, this pressure can disseminate throughout or through the entire thing. That means P1 is equal to P2. Correct. But P1 is simply F1 over A1. P2 is simply F2 over A2. But what we requested, what we requested, what is the force of the largest piston? This implies that simply F2 is equal to A2 times F1 over A1. This is the creative pressure within the piston 1. Thus, F2 becomes A1 is simply pi dot scale of R1. R1 is half of ZD1. I mean this one, I'm sorry. A2 simply pi dot okay, half of D2 square or simply scale of R2. That is R2 is half of the diameter of the piston two. That is, since it is 20 centimeters, just divided to two, it becomes eight centimeters. And then scale it, it becomes 100 square centimeters. F1 is given to us, that is 500 meters. Area 1 is already the diameter of a piece of 1 is 8 centimeter. Just divide it to 2, it becomes 4 centimeter. And then R1 is 4 centimeter. Then area 1 means pi dot to scale of R1. R1 is 4, scale it, 16, and then scale centimeter. Great! Square centimeter by square centimeter. By four one, I mean by four four. By four twenty five. Pi by pi cancel. By four one, by four twenty five times five. Don't forget this is five times hundred. Eight 
which is known as 500 by 41 by 30, 25 times 5, which is 125. And the house equal to becomes 25 times 125. Or simply by 41, by 125, 500. Then it's unities. So 125 times 25, 5 times 5, 25, to get it to is 10. And then it becomes 12, to get it 1. And then 6 is 10, to get it 1, 5. And then 2, 5, 2, 11, to get it 1. And then 3. So. The load on the piston 2, or the force on the piston 2, is 3,125 Newton. We did it. This is the force on the piston 2. This is the way how we can tackle the problem, such a problem. Thank you for watching. Please remember, as usual, subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to put your comment up on the box. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.